Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Let's Taste with the Intrepid Wino. My name is James Gaisbrook. Uh, with me in the room is uh, my beautiful partner and my lovely son. So if you do hear uh, my sleeping son start to stir, it's almost his feeding time. Um, you'll know what it is. Um, looking at uh, some more Darenberg wines on this edition, uh, probably two of the, the better known wines uh, from the range, from the very, very extensive range submitted by um, the winery, um, a white wine and a red wine. And um, I thought I'd have a look at them. They are new vintage releases. So let's start off with the Hermit Crab 2016, which is a blend of Viognier and Marsan, uh, two varieties from the Rhone Valley, very, very uh, often found together. Uh, Viognier, more commonly in the Northern Rhone, is either thrown in with some Syrah or is um, on its own as a white wine. Um, but Viognier can be blended with Marsan and often Rousson uh, in the Southern Rhone Valley. Uh, let's have a look at what the Hermit Crab 2016 has to offer. Very bright colour, reasonably pale, a little bit of yellow. Bottle's a bit cold. But um, it's not, you know, really jumping out of the glass. It's not bold and exuberant. Uh, white fruits, nashy pear. Some nice florals there as well. A bit of nuttiness too. This is almost a, a lazy sort of old barrel kind of character as well. Let's taste. Definitely showing more on the palate. Um, immediate hit of warmth from the alcohol. Nice richness. Um, really sort of fills the back of the palate. Possibly even a little bit of residual sugar. There's sort of fruit sweetness on the on the palate. Um, it's coming at 13.3% alcohol, so ripe-ish, um, not massively uh, ripe. Uh, $15 recommended retail. I think that's actually a really lovely wine. Um, I, I would recommend that for the price. Um, stylistically, it's it, you know it doesn't show sort of barrel character. It's all about the fruit, um, and I think if you're looking for something with a little bit more dimension than a Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, I think that that's a really interesting option and, and definitely good value for $15 recommended retail. Let's look at the second one, which is a Dairy's Original uh, 2014 vintage Shiraz Grenache. Um, on another edition, I probably would have mentioned that Shiraz and Grenache are very, very commonly found together. Um, and the name of the wine, I, I believe, uh, is because it was um, Chester's father, uh, who this was the first blend, I guess, that he made, uh, the first one that he released, so Gary's original. Uh, recommended retail for this wine is $18. Um, let's have a look at what it looks like. Really vibrant on the nose, really jumps out of the glass. Nice, soft, dark red, purpley fruits. A little bit of spice as well, but like sweet spices, sort of Indian spices, Middle Eastern spices. Some cinnamon as well. Let's taste. Quite dry, quite fresh, balanced, very clean. Just a little bit of sweet tannins uh, laid on the palate. Possibly um, it's fruit derived, possibly it's uh, oak derived. I think that's a, a really good value one, $18. Um, you know, you're not going to be disappointed with that. 
Uh, it's a fairly simple wine. It's a fairly straightforward, uh, easy drinking wine. Um, definitely a crowd pleaser. Um, not particularly seeing enough of the region here, but I guess at that sort of price point, um, you're probably not expecting to see that much character, particularly for a red wine. Um, but I mean, it might be a vintage thing. I think 2016, uh, for me, is by far the better wine, particularly considering the price. Uh, I highly recommend that. I would go out and buy some of that because it is a really lovely wine. Uh, and it's a little bit different. Um, the Darius Original, it's fairly safe. It's, very, it's a fairly safe option. Uh, thank you, of course, to Darenberg for generously submitting some samples. Always a pleasure to taste wines. Please do get in touch with me uh, if you would be interested in having your wines tasted on Let's Taste with the Intrepid Wino. Uh, I, I, please do, um, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, leave a comment. Please share your impressions of these wines or any others. Um, what, are your, what are your feelings about McLaren Vale? Uh, uh, make sure you subscribe to the Intrepid Wino YouTube channel so that you can uh, stay abreast of uh, all of the uh, the different videos I'm posting, including some, um, some winemaking videos from this year. Uh, and um, make sure you come visit me at intrepidwino.com. Uh, lots of other content, writings, podcasts. Uh, there's different ways you can get in contact with me, including on social media. Please do follow me at intrepidwino on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. But guys, until next time, cheers.